pickles, aged cheese, sauerkraut, yogurt, and kombucha. Fermented foods have flooded the shelves, but are they really beneficial? Fermented foods contain good bugs or microorganisms that aid in health and digestion. They may be able to help diarrhea, urinary tract infections, irritable bowel syndrome, yeast infections, and shorten the severity of a cold or flu. Foods like kefir, a thick acidic fermented milk, can also boost the immune system. The drink is being examined as a possible treatment for tuberculosis and cancer. And in a small study, people with diabetes who consumed the popular fermented beverage kombucha for three months had their blood sugar levels stabilize. But there may also be downsides. A study published in Cancer Science found that eating a high amount of fermented soy foods was associated with an increased risk of gastric cancer. And despite being marketed as non-alcoholic, kombucha contains some ethanol. What's more, the fermentation process allows for the alcohol content to increase after the product hits the shelves. The bottom line? A little fermentation is probably fine, but don't overdo it. I'm Jessica Sanchez reporting.